Well, Fight fans, the days are ticking away for this main event here at the MGM Grand on Showtime, where Amir Khan and Devin Alexander are going to go at it in the ring that Saturday night. But here today, it's the final press conference. Both fighters spoke on the podium to talk about their main event that has a lot of implications for the winner. The winner could see themselves in a main event next spring against Floyd Mayweather Jr. And they're going to make a statement, and they're looking to make a statement in their fights this weekend. So let's go ahead and go to the stage behind me and hear from the main My event. resume speaks for itself. I don't sh shy away from no, no competition. This is boxing. You got a lot of paper champions out there who wants to, you know, fight the, fight the least bit of threat for the most money. Um, you want to fight a, a bomb fighter for the big money, you know. They want to scave their way to the top. But, you know, at the end, it would all, you know, play out and the, the strong survive. Um, I, I, since, since fighting Junior Witter, I've fought nothing but top-notch guys, um, back to back to back to back. Um, some good, some bad, but, you know, top guys. And everybody who knows me knows I come to fight. Um, I want to thank Amir Khan for taking a challenge this time, taking a challenge and, you know, fighting some, a legitimate fighter. I want to thank him, thank, him, thank his team. Thank my UK fans, because I do got some UK fans who really rooting for me, and you know, they want to see me with the throne. I don't know what it is about Khan, but a lot of UK fans want to see me beat him for some reason. So I don't know what's going on over there, you guys, but um, um, I, I just want to thank, thank him and his team for accepting the challenge. Um, I'm ready. I'm ready to go 15 rounds if we have to. If, if somehow the timekeeper, you know, messes up the timer or something, I'm ready to go 15 rounds. And I just want to, I'm happy to be here. I'm excited um, with all this going on in Ferguson and, you know, the riding and everything that's going on. You know, coming here is like vacation for me, you know, having fun, you know, just because all that stuff going on back there is crazy. So I just want to thank everyone who has something to do with this fight. And I'm ready to go with Saturday night. My dream was always to fight in Vegas at the, the biggest arena and, you know, the MGM. It's time now where I'm headlining here and it's like dream come true. Um, I want to thank Virgil Hunter and Tony Brady, my trainers, for working me very hard. You know, it's been a very tough camp for the last 12 weeks. I've been pushing myself very hard. Um, I've been focused throughout the whole camp. I've had some great sparring partners and everything. And... Um, you know, we're going to come to, to fight and come to win. I mean, you know, no more setbacks, you know. Um, I've lost in the past, but learn from those losses and come back stronger from them. Um, 140 was a, a weight that I was, you know, making, it was very difficult for me to make the weight and stuff. But now at 147, I feel like a different fighter. I feel much more stronger, happier making weight and everything. I'm up against Devin Alexander, who's going to come to fight. I'm not taking this fight lightly. You know, I'm not looking past this fight one bit because I know it's going to be a tough fight for me. And I'm just going to, you know, put all that work I've done and stick to the game plan that Virgil Hunter has given me in the corner and just stay focused. Uh, I want to thank Golden Boy and Oscar De La Hoya for putting this fight together because, you know, one thing I've said to Oscar is I want to fight the best guys out there. And I've never shied away from any fight or any fighter. Um, so, you know, that's just the type of fighter I am. Come Saturday, we're gonna put a great fight on for you guys. It's gonna be, it's gonna be two guys with a very similar style, you know, speed, explosiveness, power. We have everything, and it's one not to miss. Um, and you know, I'm really excited for it now. Time's coming close. I just have to keep calm and um, give the UK fans the fight they want to see, and also the USA fans and the fans around the world. You know what this fight's gonna mean to me. It's gonna be, it's gonna be big. I also want to thank my fans in St. Louis who always tweet me and say hi to me, you know. No, 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 I have a lot of fans from there, man, so they're always inviting me there, so I just want to thank them. And it was a tough training camp, one of the hardest, and I feel in the best condition ever, honestly. I feel in great shape, so no excuses. I'm looking forward, and um, hopefully this fight will, you know, I'm going to set a statement. Thank you very much for turning up here, and thanks, guys. And that's a wrap from here in the press room of the MGM Grand Con versus Alexander 
happening on Showtime this weekend. And don't go anywhere, you guys. We have a lot of stuff coming your way. We know there's another card on another network on HBO, Bradley versus Chavez. We got you covered on that end. We got a lot of content coming from that fight week and that fight, as well as the event here. So don't go anywhere. We got you covered on all bases, all fronts on the Boxing Channel.